So that's what we have for the rock so far. Now we have to actually make it a normal map. And to do that we select all, copy merged, paste, and then we take the new layer we just made and go to filter and VTools. Alright, now once we're in here, we'll go to average RGB. And since we want it to keep its jaggedness, we'll set it to four samples. If you have a jagged picture but you want the normals to be smoother, you want to use more higher, uh, whatever these are, uh, the numbers by the numbers. And then, uh, yeah, we'll use four samples because that'll give us a sharp normal map, which is kind of what we're going for. We'll scale it uh, to five for now, and we can change that once we get into the preview. Let's go to 3D preview. This went a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll zoom in using the third mouse button. Right is rotate. And then so first is just move. And if you hold down control and right click, you can change the light. But this the normal map, it's kind of flat. Um, but I mean you can see the definition already but it might be nice to make it a little bit more powerful so what we're gonna do is go to scale and this is gonna be too high but we can try it uh, 20 and this is the difference from 5 to 20 and it's pretty pretty big difference but as you can tell that's kinda too high too much darkness going on you won't be able to see the base you know texture under that as well which we can load in uh, and uh, use detail and there's our base texture underneath that uh, huge scaled uh, normal map and I mean that looks not very good so let's try 5 again that's 5 which is actually pretty good but maybe we could get it a little bit more you know in depth like I said before so let's try seven. Seven's looking pretty good. You can s still see all the rocks and you can see the shadowing that's going on. So I think we might try one more higher. And that looks perfect. Alright, so we take that. We have alpha set to one. And, uh,. Yeah, so that's how I make normal maps overall.